Hello everyone, my name is Sammy and I am a wiki writer for the mod Age of Oblivion for the game Seven Days to Die. And I want to go through how to upgrade the mod from one version to another. In this case, I have Alpha 2.6 and the latest Alpha from the website, which is over here. Uh, this is Alpha 2.81004, and that is what this Alpha latest is. If you have watched my how to install video, this was the zip that I actually downloaded at that time. And this one is an old one for an old game that I was playing. Okay, so first of all, sorry, wrong way. We need to first go to our Steam install. And also, if you watch my install video, you'll know that I create several copies of the game to keep the modded version separate. In this case, I renamed this one. This was originally Seven Days to Die modded. This one actually has my 2.6 install on it. And so I just renamed it A0026 for this video. The first thing you want to do is know that you will be deleting everything related to the mod in order to make sure that it installs correctly and you don't miss any files because files can get deleted with later updates. So I'm going to go into the data folder and into prefabs. Let's go ahead and open this alpha 26 zip up in 7 zip. We'll go into data prefabs here. This shows all of the prefabs that were installed in 2.6. For me, instead of going through and looking for it by name, the easiest way for me is to just sort by date modified. But that is because you can see my, my game in this particular install hasn't been updated since May. And the mod files were updated in September. So these ones will be different in terms of date modified than the original game. If you just installed Seven Days to Die, you will not have that because the dates will not be different or they won't be different enough for you to be able to easily tell between them. Maybe they're only a couple of days apart and you just don't see that difference as easily when it's months apart. But you would match up all of these from the zip. All of these here, and you would match them up over here. And you're going to come in here, highlight them all, right click, delete. Now go back to your main folder and into mods. And you're going to select it all. Shift, left click, highlight all of them, right click, delete. going to take a moment to delete, but it shouldn't take too long. Now we can get rid of this zip. So we will open the latest one for 2.8. Oops, 7 zip. Oh, it's going to take a moment. There it goes. Okay. So now we go back in here. Let's click down here somewhere. Highlight these two. Drop it over into a white space over here. And go ahead and let it copy. Okay. And we're done. We have now updated this to 2.8. So just since I named my files according to those versions, I'm going to change it to 2.8. And because I did that, I'm going to rename the link to that particular one to 2.8 as well, because otherwise it won't work. If you don't actually create different profiles, you won't have to do that. It's just simply a matter of deleting the old files in here from in data and mods and dropping in the new files and you're done. So that's how you update the mod and you don't get any issues with 
things just not updating, files getting deleted that you didn't know were deleted. Just delete everything from the mod, put in everything fresh, and you're good to go. And I will see you soon in the next video where I explain how to do this for the server. Have a good one.